What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a crazy cool off meta team. We are rocking out with Diglett in ranked regulation G. Now the whole premise behind this Diglett team is its ability Arena Trap. Now Arena Trap makes opposing Pokemon unable to swap. This is good with Diglett because it also has the Focus Sash and Endeavor. I think you guys know where we're going with this one. Diglett can then take a hit, use its Focus Sash, it'll be on 1 HP, it can use Endeavor, and then bring down whatever Pokemon it wants to 1 HP, which is absolutely amazing. And then furthermore, it's got Sucker Punch to actually finish it off. First turn priority, we love it so much. So Diglett, going to be rocking out today. Hopefully I can use it, hopefully I can grab a win, maybe a few KOs for you guys. I don't think it's going to be meta-defining and just take over today's video, but we're looking to use them. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team features Terrapagos. Now, Terrapagos is really good, especially with this set right here. Terra Shift, Covert Cloak, Terra Star Storm, Earth Power, Calm Mind, and Protect. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Golden Go, Warring Moon, Rillaboom, and Primarina. Primarina and Golden Go are going to be two great special attackers. Rillaboom going to be a great fake out user, along with a great terrain setter. Then Warring Moon, there for big time damage with booster energy and protosynthesis, and speed control with Tailwind. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Diglett. First match on its way, and we are going up against a pretty cool Ice Rider Calyrex team. They got Ice Rider Calyrex on top of Chandelure. They got Gastrodon, Iron Hand, Superior, or Superior, right? It's Superior. And then last but not least, they have Grimstar for screens. I'm going to try to get after it with my boy Diglett. Here. So I'm going to lead Diglett. I'm also going to lead our Calm Mind user. I think that's going to be a great lead for us if we can get a nice little Calm Mind boost. We can really start to get after it. I like it. I'm down for that. Or should I save Diglett for a late game? Diglett could be a good late game Pokemon, especially like one-on-one. -on -one. Diglett can get after it. You know what? We're saving Diglett for late game. We are so saving Diglett for late game. We got choice specs on goal to go, which is honestly pretty good. And I think that might be a good option for us because you can't fake out either of these guys. Yeah, I'm going to go into both of them. Um, I'm going to bring Diglett in the back end. And last but not least, do I go Rillaboom? Rillaboom could be sod. I mean, first turn priority. He's got Drum Beating. It's got Grass Guide. It's got Knock Off. Uh, Primarina's not bad here either with the Salt Vest. I kind of like you. You can get some Speaker Soul. You can Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice. I'm down for that. But I mean, what's called is going to be annoying. Let's be honest. Gashadon could be annoying. Storm Drain Gashadon. Do we have anything to deal with that? Moonblast, I mean, Moonblast isn't too bad. You know what? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna stick with Primarina here. We are going to stick with Primarina, because who knows? They might not even bring Storm Drink Gash on. Let's be honest here. But I really do like our lead. They're probably going to be trying to force a Trick Room. They can't fake me out, which is huge. If they want to Terrastalize, like, say they go into... Say they go into, uh, what is it? I can't even think of its name. Ice Rider Calyrex. We can go for Make It Rain on this side and Terra Stars from here. So Make It Rain does big time damage. If they Terrastalize, then Trap goes does big time damage. But they're going to end up landing, leading Chandelure and Iron Hand. So you can't fake me out, which is good news. You can try to fake me out. I mean, I'll just cover Cloak up. This might be a good turn for me to maybe just go into a Calm Mind and maybe just Shadow Boy, right? Are you going to outspeed Chandelure? Chandelure is kind of quick. Let's be honest here. I could swap into Diglett. I think it's a great turn to swap into Diglett. I'm so down to swapping Diglett. We're swapping Diglett. Because what they could do is probably just outspeed me. Hit me with a Heat Wave. That could be a little annoying. I think they're going to fake out Therapagos, which is good news for us. It would be great news if they do that. So let's see. We'll see a Terra pop out here. Probably from the Shandle. Is Shandle pop getting the Terra? That makes sense. No, it's going to be Iron Hand. So Iron Hand's going to get the Terra here. Into Air. Going straight into Air, which is... Kind of weird, right? A little odd. What are you doing here? Go for fake out. You don't go for fake out. Can somebody go after this golden ghost slot? Not both you guys. One of you. One of you, please. Only one of you, because I don't want Diglett dying here. That makes a lot of sense. You going for heat wave? Go for heat wave. You go for trick room. All right. I think my best bet is just to do this and then just endeavor this thing, right? Because my thought process here is maybe like a heat wave. I, I think Chandler's got to go for a heat wave. And I think he would double down into this trap ghost slot, trying to get rid of it. So I'm just going to protect it. I'm going to hope that you hit my Diglett. I'm going to hope Endeavor can pop out here and we can really get after it. Yep, there's Drain Punch. Show me heat wave. Give me heat wave. 
Give me Heat Wave here. Dark Pulse. That works in a Diglett. That works. That works perfectly. Because I'm focus sashing up. I'm endeavoring into this belly jump Pokemon. I can I can uh hit it with a sucker punch next turn. I can sucker punch it. Awesome. Love you. And then I can just go earth power. So I'm gonna earth power you. I'm gonna sucker punch. You are so not ready for sucker punch. You are so not ready for sucker punch. You are so not ready for sucker punch. So not ready. Diglett picking up a KO. Let's go, Diglett. Man, that felt good. That felt so good. Diglett picking up a KO. How are you, Diglett? Have a day. Have a day, Diglett. And we're outspeeding the Chandelure. Get it on out of here. Ooh, we leave it on one, which is actually okay. I mean, a problem here would be you going into Ice Rider Calyrex. And you're gonna go for a clear smock here, which I'm gonna Terra Shell, and he's just gonna take my stat boost off. All right. That's fine. I can protect and waste out another trick return, but Diglett. My man Diglett. My man Diglett. Calyrex's gonna come out here. Um, do I sucker punch the Shandal? How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. I think we're better off just going for Terra Star Storm here, right? And at least trying to go for a Sucker Punch. If I get off a of Foul Play, that'd be nice, but I don't think we're getting off a of Foul Play. So he's gonna withdraw Shandalore, that's fine. I mean, I can do this and then just protect next turn. Gastron's gonna come out here. That's fine. It's not bad. I mean, I don't think you should KO with Glacial Lance. You're gonna KO with Diglett, obviously. But you're not gonna KO. I don't think you're gonna KO my boy right here, Terrapicus. So we have a little issue with our back end Pokemon. Only one of them has Protect. Sucker Punch is gonna fail. Glacial Lance is gonna fly. Yeah, we're able to soak that one, but I don't know if we're going to soak another one. Soaking another one's tough news for us. How much damage is this going to do? That's the real question. This thing's showing they boost it. Damage isn't bad. The damage isn't bad, and we're going to go into Primarina here. We're going to go into Primarina. Primarina. So Primarina comes out here. Not shabby. Now from here, obviously we're just gonna protect you because we don't want to die. And if I can get off a of Moonblast, I want to go for Moonblast. But Diglett, with a big KO to get things started, especially on Belly Drum. Diglett, they were not ready for the Diglett sucker punch. They end up protecting Calyrex. I mean, that's a fine turn for me. That's a fine turn for me. I wonder what Gashon's going for. Maybe a Yawn? I'm hoping you're attacking the Terrapicos, because this was your last turn in Trick Room. Go for recover. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Calyrex is the one is the one problem for me. Calyrex is the one problem for me, so I'm just gonna double down to the Calyrex slot this turn. Cool. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm so fine with that. So we're gonna go into another Terra Star Storm. We're gonna go into a Moonblast. We're just gonna double down to the slot. Just protect it. Trick Room's gone. Trick Room is gone. So there's Terra Star Storm. Bop, 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 bop. Picking up some nice damage on the Calyrex. Does Calyrex soak this Moonblast? I sure hope not. Okay, cool. I was going to say. I was going to say. If this thing survives on one and then hands me a Glacial Lance and I just lose this game, that's going to be tough. But I think we're sitting in a perfectly fine position now. I mean, Chandelure is going to come out here. But we still can't use Water Moves, which is upsetting. But I still have my Choice of Gold Gold and go in the back. I like where we're sitting. I like it. We'll go for another Terra Star Storm. Um, we're just gonna go after the Chandelure slot. Yeah, we're gonna make sure Chandelure dies out this turn. I'm gonna go for an overheat. That actually might kill me. It does. That's fine, though. That's fine, because Primarina's gonna outspeed the Gastron. We make sure we get rid of Chandelure. We got that Golden Girl on the back end who can just pick up some big-time damage off of this thing. We got Shadow Ball. We got all good stuff. All good things going on here. Moonblast. See you later. Yeah, because if I went after Gastron, then we would've just left Chandelure on the field for no reason. When, I, when I'm almost certain, I'm 99.9997% certain that we win this game. Oh, Sludge Bomb. That's scary. Okay. We're fine, though. It's not stab. You get a crit, though. And the poison. A lot of RNG going on here. A lot of RNG, but again, I still feel as we're fine. I can Moonblast this cash on. I can maybe get a special attack drop. But the big dog's coming out here. Choice, Spec, Shadow Ball. 
Ready to fly. Ready to fly. They don't have Terra anymore. We don't have Terra. And this is going to be game. Diglett picking up a massive KO onto a Belly Drum. Onto a Belly Drum Iron Hands. That won us the game. So I, I love that. I think we're using Diglett really well here in match number one. Shadow Ball doesn't do enough. But Moonblast is going to follow through and finish it off. So big time win. Let's go hop into our second match. What a way to get this video started. Diglett getting after. But we're hopping into our second match. And we're going up against kind of a similar team, right? How often do you see Chandelure and Glacier, or not Glacier, Ice Rider Calyrex on the same team? Back-to-back -back battles, I guess. Let's go into Diglett. Do we lead it? Or do we bring it into back end? I'm not too sure. I mean, we're obviously going to one try to pop Trick Room. I kind of like the lead we had last time with these two. I think that's just very solid. And that's exactly what I'm going to do again. We're going to bring Diglett into back end for late game purposes. And last but not least, instead of Prima Arena... I actually kind of like more booster energy. Could be good. I mean, it's probably speed, right? Yeah, he's booster energy, speed. I do like it, but you know what? No, we're going to see him squad. They have a very similar squad to what it was last time, and I just like the team that we have. We don't have to deal with Storm Drain Gastron either. Supreme Arena is just going to be even better. I'm all about it. I'm all about Diglett. All about this Pokemon. All about this Pokemon. So let's see who they end up leading. I could, it's probably either Chandelure or Glacier alongside with like Rillaboom. That's why I want to lead the Covert Cloak user and the, uh, the Ghost user. So we don't get faked out and then we can really just start thriving out. I can either Calm Mind, Terra, and the Terra Star Storm and then just start throwing, make it rains or Shadow Balls or Thunderbolts. Or I could even trick and hand off the Choice Specs if I really want to. That's not a bad play. I could Choice Spec a Trick Room user into Choice Spec. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. They're going to end up going into both of these guys, which I don't mind. I do not mind. We are so sending a Make It Rain. We are so sending a Terra Star Storm. It's a pre pretty easy play for me, right? Definitely an easy play for me. Because if you Terra Slice, I'm super effective. If you don't Terra Slice, I'm super effective. And this is what I wanted to do last game, right? This is really what I wanted to do last game. So I'm going to send that. I'm going to drop a Make It Rain. Yeah, I want to do this last game, but then everything actually worked out better because of Diglett. Where I was just like, oh, well, I can swap into Diglett and really get after it. So, <laughs> it's just working perfectly. It's just working perfectly. He's going to end up withdrawing the Ice Rider Calyrex. And he's going to go into uh, Lillaboo, maybe? Pelipper? It's going to be Raging Bolt, which, uh, it's okay. I mean, Make It Rain's going to do a nice chunk of damage. Terra Star so going to fall behind. Umbreon, what are you doing? Going for maybe like a foul play, a Snarl? Snarl could be a good one. Snarl could be great. Now I'm kind of scared. We don't want Snarl to happen. If it does happen, we might just hard swap our Terrapagos. Kind of save it for later. But I mean, I like this turn right here. Make it rain. Big time damage on the Umbreon. Umbreon's a rather bulky Pokemon. I'll take that special attack drop, no problem. Parastar, so I'm going to follow behind. Let's see how we do here. Because you got to be going for Snarl after this, right? Nice damage. We love this damage. Snarl flying through here. Of course you got the berry. Of course you got the berry. And yep, there's Snarl. Okay. So, I still think we should go into Terra Star Storm and make it rain. Actually, I might hard swap into Diglett here. Is that what Diglett turn? Because I can Earth Power you probably KO. And then just Diglett up. I'm so all about the Diglett. Because we can reset our choice spec too. I'm so about the Diglett, dude. I love this Pokemon. I love this team right here. We've been using some fun teams on the channel. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. If you have been enjoying all the off-meta stuff, do me a favor. Don't forget to leave a like. It goes way farther than you guys think it does. Leave a like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, again, subscribe to the channel. That goes for any YouTube creator that you constantly watch. It really goes a long way. The likes, the subscribes, the views, all that. just It doesn't go unnoticed either. So, thank you guys so much for everything. If you guys want to support me a little bit extra, I do have a membership link down in the description below. Become a Jeems member. You get little sub badges. And on top of that, you get some pretty cool emotes. Get some pretty cool emotes. But we're swapping into the Digster. So the Digster comes out here. We do that. You're probably going for a Snarl again, right? Earth Power going to fly. It should pick up the KO here with the Terra Boost. It does. And show me that you're going for Snarl because Diglett's going to be able to outspeed and then just endeavor whatever it wants, right? I'm gonna go for Toxic. No, why couldn't you attack the Digs? Why couldn't you just attack the Digs? I don't ask for much. I don't ask for much. I really don't. I just want you to attack the Digs. Toxic, though, on the other hand. Great little turn there. Great little turn. Huh. 
Because now you go into Calyrex and pop a Trick Room. Not looking good for us. It's not looking good for us. He saw that out really well, but I really wanted him to attack Diglett. If he attacked Diglett there, then we would have been really thriving. But hopefully this isn't Calyrex. And it's Roll Boom. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, I have Covert Cloak. I might just protect Diggs here. I'm going to protect Diggs and hard swap into uh, Golden Go here. Let's just protect Diggs. Um, try to set this thing up for Endeavor, right? That's really what we want to do. That's really all I want to do is just set this thing up for Endeavor. You could be going for another Snarl. That could be a little bit of an issue. Um, but I think that was just a good a good turn for us to just swap our Terrapicos and save it. Let's see what they end up doing. If I were them, that would have been a perfect turn to bring out Calyrex. And get off Trick Room. And really start thriving with that Pokemon. But we'll protect the Diglett. We'll play it slow. Diglett, I will not let you die. Hopefully I won't let you die. Woodhammer's gonna fly through here. Can you soak that? Do soak that. And what are you going for here? You're going for Foul Plane to Diglett. Leave my Diglett alone, dude. Leave my Diglett alone. They get back some HP. Um, I'm really hoping they just go for Grassy Glide this turn. In all honesty, I'm really hoping they just go for Grassy Glide. But I'm going to pop Make It Rain, and I am just going to go for an Endeavor here, right into the slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Make It Rain, Endeavor. I would think they want to go for Grassy Glide into the digs. If I had to guess. If I had to guess. I know, we're actually going first. And you it does bring you down to 60, which is great news. That's good for me to know. So I'm able to pick up the KO on the roll boom. No Grassy Glide comes out there. So wow, Endeavor actually working wonders here. It's working wonders. That's something I didn't know. It goes to what HP you have. And now I'm on three. Now, guess what? I'm going to put your Calyrex right on three HP. He's going right on three HP. Your Calyrex stands no chance. Your Calyrex stands no chance. He's going right to three HP. <laughs> He's going right to three HP. But that's so good to know. I can just use Endeavor on a bulky Pokemon without even taking a hit and soak it no problem. It's really good now. So from here, obviously, I just want to go for another Make It Rain. I want to look to pick the KO, the KO up onto uh, onto uh, Umbreon, and we're just going to stick with the Endeavor right here into the Calyrex slot. Awesome, yo. I love this, Diglett. This thing is kicking it. Get after it today, Diglett. Have a day, Diglett. Have a day. Have a day, dude. Diglett doesn't get that much loving on the rank ladder, so now let's get his chance to shine. He is not messing up. He is not messing up. He is not blowing his one shot on the rank ladder. Today is Diglett day. He ends up protecting. That's fine. I don't mind that because this Make It Rain should finish off the Umbreon. Right? Do you go before the Umbreon? I believe you did. I believe you are faster. As long as this Make It Rain uh, KOs the Umbreon, we win this game. I know you're minus two, but I still think you got enough mustard and tank to finish this one off. My dog, so let's go. Another win on, with the Diglett team. Another win with the Diglett team. I'm just going to be able to Endeavor, KO him. Oh, leave him on three, but at this point, I will have what's called in the back end. At this point, I have uh, I have Aqua Jet Primarina in the back end, but hopefully they let me do it. Hopefully they don't just cancel battle. And honestly, this is a sweep. We haven't lost one Pokemon. Diglett team kicking today. This this is this team is just kicking it today. Stay hot, Diglett. Stay hot. Love it. Let's see if they cancel. I hope they don't. I want Diglett to, to land this endeavor. Just to show the power of this Pokemon. No, they canceled a the match. Still 2-0. Diglett being so good so far. Moving on to our final match, and Diglett is 2-0. I would love to grab ourselves a perfect record with this Diglett team, but we're going up against a heavy Trick Room team. And honestly... I don't like Diglett here. I don't like Diglett here. I'm glad we actually showcased it in match number one and in match number two, but Diglett here just is not good. It's not good. It has to be able to outspeed to really do some big time damage. I mean, I could go into Diglett, maybe Endeavor turn one, but I mean, at this point, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough for us, but I like going into Trapagos here. I think that's a great little Pokemon for us, and I could also go into 
my booster energy war moon, which I like here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Primarina. And last but not least, Golden Go could be solid. Sorry, Diglett. We're 2-0 with it, though. We used it in match number one and match number two. Definitely plenty of Diglett to go around in today's video. But this is just the third and final match. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, so it would be awesome if we can actually just pull off a perfect record. And it kind of be funny if we lose without Diglett. Making Diglett just OP, right? <laughs> right? We go 2-0 with Diglett, and then we lose the third and final match without Diglett. Diglett's just the man. We love Diglett. But they're gonna end up going into Frigoraph and Calyrex. Um, let's try play here. Terra Starstorm, go for a knockoff here as well. I'm about it. I'm kind of about it. I mean, both these guys can pop Trick Room. Both these guys can easily pop Trick Room. Hmm. What is the play? We definitely want to uh, Terrasalize Terrapagos and go for a Starstorm here. I think there's no doubt in my mind that I want to do that. Um. On top of that, I think going for knockoff into this slot is just better for us. Who's going to be the one that pops Trick Room? I feel like Fur Furgraph's got to be it. So we're going to go for knockoff into that slot and maybe hope that Calyrex protects. That could be big because I really want to go after Calyrex. I really do. But at the same time, there's a chance of that Pokemon swapping, that Pokemon protecting. I think we're in the best interest to just go after Furgraph and hope that's the Pokemon that's going to suck the Trick Room. Guess we'll find out here. We'll see a Terra, which is good news for us. That's exactly what we wanted them to do, because Terra Starstorm is now going to be super effective. And that's going to be Calyrex. So Calyrex is going to take some damage here. Um, I wonder if he's the one popping Trick Room. And I mean, Frigoraph's probably just going to die out here. So I'm really hoping Frigoraph's the one popping Trick Room. For Frigoraph Protects, that's a great play for them. Really playing mind games with me. They're going to be able to get off Trick Room. That's a great, that's a great, great protect from them. That's a great protection. Now, how much damage is Terra Starstorm doing? I don't think it's KOing. He's going to get off Trick Room. That's tough news for us. He's going to get off Trick Room. The damage about half. Not bad. And oh, you don't even go for Trick Room. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you pick up a KO, but you leave your Calyrex out the dry here, right? Wow. Could have ally switch, but I mean, no tricker means. Should we just go into you, or do we go into Primarina? Primarina Hyper Voice, not bad. I think we have to try to do as much damage as we can onto uh, onto Frigraph here. Frigraph needs to die. Frigraph needs to die. Wow, no tricker. That might have just blown the match. I'm not too sure. But I'll go for another Terra Star Storm. I'll go for a Make It Rain. Actually, I could just choice into Shadow Ball, but it has no effect. You know what? We're going for Make It Rain. Calyrex's going to protect. That's no big deal. We'll get rid of this for Rigoraf. Rigoraf's a goner. You should have popped Trick Room. I'm so surprised you didn't pop Trick Room. After that amazing play you made with Protect, you decided not to go into Trick Room. And honestly, this Rigoraf still might soak. I think Rigoraf's going to soak this. This could be deadly for us. Rigoraf, are you soaking this? I hope not. Bruh. Bruh, it soaked it? You soaked that? Oh man, that hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Terra Star so I'm gonna fly here. We're gonna go for another make it rain. Oh man, that's a game. You soaked that? A make it rain stab choice spec and a Terra Star Storm? And a Terra Star Storm. Wow, that's a bulky for a graph. That's a bulky for a graph, but still great plays from our opponent. Wow, that really hurts, because we honestly could have won this game. But he's going to end up going into a helping hand here. He's going to look to just dump on the Terrapagos. Golden Ghost should soak this. It does, but at least we don't get swept, right? At least we don't get swept. Good play on that. there. And I honestly should just protect the Terrapagos. I honestly should just protect the Terrapagos there, but I kind of chalked the matchup as a loss already. But yeah, I, I probably should just, you know, protect the Terrapagos there and then brought out uh, my next Pokemon. Alright. It be like that sometimes. It be like that. Our final Pokemon is Primarina too, which is actually solid. But I could have protected Terrapagos that turn. Get rid of that helping hand and maybe soaked up a shot. And I could have swapped Golden Go. There was definitely a, a chance of us winning this game, but now with Robin on the field, yeah, no. Not happening. 
It is not happening. Now, the real question is, can I Aqua Jet and just finish off this, uh... Can I Aqua Jet and finish off Calvar? Because that'd be a pretty nice play for us. I mean, you can just fake me out if you want to. I'm still going to give it a try. Aqua Jet into Make It Rain. Maybe we get a crit on the Royal Boom. That would be nice. A little bit of RNG action. But it's so funny. We go 2-0 with Diglett, but we lose the only match that we don't use Diglett. Kind of funny. Cause can Aqua Jet KO? Not even close. Not even close. Grass got going to fly here. We survived that, but... The king over here, Calyrex. We're going to pop a Glacial Lance. That's going to finish off today's video. So 2-1 for today's video. I love this Diglett team. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Diglett is the best Pokemon in ranked regulation G. I'm just playing, but Diglett showcased today. It had a day. Had an absolute day. Went 2-1 with today's team. Endeavor going crazy. Sucker Punch picking up some KOs. We love this Pokemon so much, especially for Arena Trap, too. They cannot swap out. They simply cannot swap out. And I actually forgot about Arena Trap this whole video until now because I'm seeing it. But still, Diglett was absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.